I be vulnerable as a dom? That's a great question. And yes, you can. And it's not just can. You should be vulnerable as a dom. Vulnerability is being honest. And you can't have a proper DS dynamic if you are not honest to your submissive. But what is vulnerability? Vulnerability comes in many different forms. First of all, asking for something. For some people, this is already vulnerable. Because asking means I can't do it myself, I need help, or I need something from someone. It will make you depending on somebody else. Even that can already make you vulnerable. As a dom, you don't have to order everything. There are things that you can ask from your submissive. And if you dare to ask, you're vulnerable. Another thing is admitting that you're wrong. You're a human being and it's okay to make mistakes, even as a dom. And especially when you're beginning, you won't mess up all the time. But you can be as experienced like crazy. You can have 30 years of experience and still messing up. Even with the same partner, because you're assuming something, for instance, that you did years ago and you think, oh, it's easy, we can still do that. And you can mess it up because you just, or you weren't paying attention. There can be so many reasons why you mess up. It's okay. You can mess up. You're a human being. It's not. Also, a dom can make mistakes. And you know, as a dom, it's your, it's your task. To make her feel safe. So what do you think will make her feel more safe? When you're messing up and you pretend that you didn't or when you're messing up and you talk with her, you admit that you did it and you look together for ways how to not mess up the next time. I know that I would feel a lot safer in the second thing. How doms also sometimes feel vulnerable and what they find hard is to admit that there is something that they don't want to do. I sometimes hear stories or I read stories from doms who say, like, I have a submissive and she wants me to do stuff and I really don't feel comfortable with it. Be honest with it. Don't do it. Just be fair and be firm. It's not weak if you don't do something. It's strong, it's powerful, and it's choosing for yourself. There is plenty of other ways that you can fill in your dynamic. You don't have to cross your own limits because this is your limit. Just be, be honest with it. Aftercare. Aftercare doesn't mean that you're soft or that you're weak, or that, but it, mean that you're, it can mean that you're vulnerable. It's just cuddling, holding her, taking care of her. It's not like that's not masculine or so. I know it's vanilla, but this is part of the relationship too. And especially if you had a very intense scene, your submissive will need this from you. So step aside, put your ego away and be there for her. Caress her. Make sure that you're there for her. Give her what she wants and what she needs. Make sure that you're there. And aftercare, by the way, doesn't stop aftercare. There is also after aftercare. Now, I'm convinced that being a dominant in a, in a DS dynamic is already a vulnerable position because you're taking a lot of responsibility. And in, in a way, you're so naked for the other person because they see what you're up to and it's very close, it's very, very intimate. If you're trying to protect it by being harsh and being firm and closed and not vulnerable, you will never be able to create that intimate connection and that DS dynamic that you are earning her trust, earning her submission. You can only do that if you open yourself up for her. And the main thing, I said it again, but the main thing is vulnerability to me is radical honesty. Always be honest. If you mess up, be honest. If you don't want to do something, be honest. Honesty is the base, is the heart of trust. So you ask honesty from her, be honest to her as well. If you think this video is, vulnerable, is, <laughs> is valuable so far, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any more updates. So, should you be vulnerable? Yes, I think you should. Is it, vulnerability is different from insecurity. It might be that you're insecure, that's totally okay. You can talk about it, but not during a scene. Because during a scene, your submissive wants to be guided, she wants to feel safe, and she can't. If she senses that you don't know what to decide, or you're going to ask her to decide for you, 
she wants to follow your lead. So don't be afraid to lead. Just make that decision. Maybe it's the wrong decision, that's okay. It's also okay if you decide something and it doesn't work out that. And if you want to know if you have dominant tendencies, if it's something for you, just do the, dominant, do the BDSM test. The link is below in the description.